Assalamu alaikum. So last time we were discussing how to uh, implement uh, the delay time in order to avoid a uh, short through or short circuit on the supply uh, side. And simply we stated that we need to delay the gate pulse, then we will use a uh, logic AND for that. So simply this is AND. Get and this is the delay operator. Where D specify uh, the time delay. So, if you assume that we have the following, get pulse, this is let's assume the gate pulse for certain switch now the delay version for that gate simply let's assume that I'm delaying one one step Then I will take the AND and we know that the logic AND is equal to 1 if AND only if the two input to the AND is 1. So this is the, the resultant gate. Pulse after the the ending. So let's assume this is the as delayed. So if this one is the H I H I in the same fashion we can do the the other gate balls for the other switch the lower one recall that the the lower switch is a complement of the SHI. So now I will plot the the complement. Then after that I will delete. This is the the complement for the SHI, so this is actually S, the gate pulse for the lower switch in the leg I. It will be, it will be here. So now let's delete the the gate pulse. So this will be the lower switch delete gate pulse. Now the same thing here. We will delete the 
the the gate pulse and after that we are do the ending so let me uh, finish that in order to show the idea behind the delay operator now implementing the the end delay this will be the the gate pulse for the lower switch and now if we compare this gate pulse with this gate pulse we can see we have a clear lag between them or delay time and for that I will use uh, the black so simply here we have a data before the switch in the higher get high the switch in the lower switch completely uh, turn off the same thing here before the lower switch turn on the upper switch is completely turning off and this will avoid the shoot through or the short circuit on the supply side remember each leg consists of two switches and here I will plot an ideal switches and this is S H I and this is the S L I this is the plus this is minus the supply side so here virtually we can plot a supply so in this case we are avoiding the short circuit on the supply and by implementing let's say a very simple uh, delay circuit also last time we were discussing the open loop view of RAF or vector control but you know that we call it open loop because there is no uh, feedback from the output and the controller is based on uh, on time a signal only so now we will discuss with you <coughs> the the closed loop uh, uh, v over f implementation so this would be closed loop v over f now let us assume that we have omega reference in open loop we need to measure the output and we need to compare it with the reference so let's assume here we have the the output the actual omega omega r and now this will be the error in general we need to minimize the error signal and for that we will use a pi control PI control. Now, the output of the speed control is proportional with the torque, and the torque is proportional with omega slip. So this will be omega slip. Now, in order to avoid instability, we can add here slip limiter. So this will be the the slip limiter and now this is the omega slip after the limiting <coughs> if we add omega slip to the actual omega we are getting omega s the synchronous speed now 
Eu fui. Pass omega S through the pyograph curve. We can generate the reference voltage, and if we integrate it, we can generate the reference phase. <coughs> now, sometimes we are using mathematical equation for this block. Uh, so simply, we can multiply this one by v s rated over omega s rated and after that plus saturation of course in order to limit uh, the the voltage to be maximum value to be the, the rated value so now we can generate the references here the voltage references which is the PS star VB star and PC star then those will go to the the pulse with modulation in order to generate the gate pulses now after Generating the gate pulses, we'll pass them through the the gate driver in order to shape or level up uh, the voltage and to protect the the control circuit uh, from the the power circuit. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six switches, uh, six gate pulses for the switches and this will go to the the inverter the voltage source inverter that we have let's assume this is the DC link and here we are connecting the induction machine Now, this implementation needs the knowledge of the, the speed. So simply now, we are measuring the speed that assume using taco generator. And remember, this one is the electrical yeah, speed, not the mechanical speed. So here we need to multiply it or shape it by P over 2 where p is the number of the of the world now after that here we are getting omega r which is the electrical and this signal is omega r mechanical now this one is the electrical simply we can connect this one here and this one here and uh, this will be the the closed loop V over F implementation now this block here is called a slip controller or slip compressions 